Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to do a tutorial on Spreadshirt for beginners. In this video we will talk about Spreadshirt, its features and the sign up process. We will do a walkthrough of the interface and we will show you how to find the right product with your design and how to open your own store. So watch this video till the end to better understand all these steps. Spreadshirt is a creative platform to customize clothing, accessories, gifts and more. It consists of over 250 different products, all print on demand. You can visit the marketplace and discover thousands of designs created by independent designers from around the world. And then use the customize tool to create your own product with a huge selection of designs and fonts or upload your own graphics and photos. If you're wondering about the benefits of using Spreadshirt, here are the three main benefits. Number one is that it is always free. Earn money by selling your designs on over 250 products with no costs. The second is that it is risk-free. Spreadshirt takes care of everything from order processing and shipping to handling payments and customer service. And lastly, it has various marketplaces. You can sell your designs on Spreadshirt as well as on external marketplaces. Now let's look at the account types. Click the login button at the top right corner. In the pop-up window, you can see that there are two types of accounts on Spreadshirt. You can sign up either as a buyer or as a seller. We are going to demonstrate signing up as a seller. So click become a partner. So this is the sellers page. You can make money by selling your designs of over 200 products, which is always free. You can sell designs of men's t-shirts, women's hoodies and long sleeves, mugs, kids t-shirt, phone and tablet cases, men's tank tops, women's t-shirt, men's hoodies and long sleeves, caps, and women's tank tops. Spreadshirt provides two ways to sell your products. First is Spreadshop and the second is Spreadshirt. In Spreadshop, you can open your own t-shirt store and you can create merch for your brand your way. If you want to continue with this, then click the Open Your Own Spreadshop button. In Spreadshirt, you can sell on the marketplace and share your story and art with millions of people. If you want to continue with this, then click the sell on the marketplace button. We are continuing with spread shop. This is the sign up page. To register your free account, here enter your shop's name. Next, here enter your email address. Then here create a password and confirm it here. If there is a reCAPTCHA then solve it. Tick the box of Partner Terms and Privacy Policy and finally click the Get Started Now button. After successfully signing up you will be redirected to your dashboard. So this is your dashboard. Let's do a walkthrough of the interface. In the left side bar there are many tabs. The first one is Dashboard. On your dashboard, here you can see your checklist. You will have to complete three steps. The first is create products. Second is set up spread shop. And the third step is activate spread shop. In the right side, there is a help section from where you can get tips and tools and you can also contact the customer support team. Below is the notifications section where you will get all your alerts and notifications. Next to it, you will see the credits section, which shows your current balance and the next payout date. So this was the dashboard tab. Next is the designs tab. Click it. On this page, from here, you can upload your design. You can upload almost all file types like JPG, PNG, GIF, SVG, AI and CDR. After selecting and uploading your design, you will be taken to this page where you will see all your designs. 
Now click your uploaded design to select your products. This is the products page and you will see the mock-up of your design on different types of products. In the list, you will have many types of products with a mock-up of your design. But if you don't want a particular product, then click the cross icon to remove it. Now, if you want to make changes to your design on any of these products, just click it and you will be taken to the product editor page. For editing the product, there are three tabs in the left sidebar. First is the design tab, in which from here you can adjust the design size and from here you can adjust alignment. Next is the product color tab, in which there are two sections. First is the default display color. The products are shown in their default display color in the product overview and you can select your desired color. Customers can change the color. And the second section is deactivate color, in which you can deactivate colors for this product across all sales channels. If you select any color, then the same color will be removed from the default display color section. And the third and the last tab is the print areas tab. From here, you can choose the print area just by dragging and dropping your designs between the print areas. If you want to make changes on other products, then after designing this product, click the next product button or else click the done button and you will be taken back to the products mockups page. Now to proceed further, click the next button at the top right corner. On this page, you need to describe your design. From here, you can set the default language and you can also enable automatic language translation. Now scroll down and here you need to enter a name for your design. You can enter a suitable name according to what your design is. Now here enter a description for your design. Write a catchy description according to what your design is as this will appear in the link preview on Google Facebook and other channels as well as in the design details on your sales channels. And lastly, here you need to enter tags. Write appropriate tags to ensure that your design will be found when people look for it on search engines. The better the tags match the design, the higher the chances that your design will be purchased. And once you're done with describing your design, then click the create button on the top right corner and your design will be created. You will then be taken back to your dashboard. Now click the shop tab in the left sidebar. You will be taken to your store setup page. On this page, you can change the settings of your shop by using these tabs, which are general, page settings, appearance, prices and promos, marketing and advanced. Below you will see your username and you can also copy your shop ID and shop URL. And when you are done with the settings of your store, then you need to click on this launch shop button and your store will become live. With this, we have completed our tutorial on Spreadshirt for Beginners. This brings this video to an end. We truly hope you've liked it. If you have any suggestions or want us to make a video on a specific topic, feel free to comment below. We will see you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay subscribed to our channel.